morning guys. Today is Monday. Fresh new week. I'm running a little bit late so I need to get my butt in gear. Just wanted to get the vlog started for the week and I hope everybody has a good week and uh, yeah gotta get out of here. <laughs> Hello, today's Tuesday, and luckily I'm not running late today, but just still the normal morning stuff. It was rainy yesterday morning, it's rainy again this morning, it's like lots of rain. We're getting more rain than normal this season, but I think <clears throat> we're not getting so much that it's causing like a bunch of flooding, so that's good. And it's not a drought like so many other places are getting. So I guess I'll be grateful for it. <laughs> but anyway, let me get all my, my coffee and get all my stuff together and get headed out the door, hoping for a good day. Hey, I found the babies. Mom went down to get a snack. She left all her babies right here. Right here with the car. Mom's got a lot of babies. They're cute. You guys are cute. Is that all from one mama? Are you guys all from one mama? Holy moly. That's a lot of y'all. <laughs> the Mr. Carps are coming up and saying hi. What are you guys doing? Where'd your mama go? Your mom's up here eating all this food. It's insane. Is this how you guys kind of huddle together? Look, we huddle together. We look bigger. We look bigger. Nobody will get us. Look, the carp are getting excited. We're talking to them. Today is Wednesday. The little clip with the ducks that you saw was from Brian. He, yesterday in the middle of doing fence bids, he stopped, he was like by Blue Springs Lake. And so he stopped there and just, you know, walked around for a little bit for his lunch. So he took that video and he's like, you can share that with the vlog. So that's the duckies. And so now it's just you know the normal morning routine except this morning I have to add running the dishwasher to the list of things to do so I'm gonna get that going too and just get the day going I'm gonna try this series out Hello, it is Thursday, and I watched three episodes of the show Dark, and there's, I think, three seasons. I had a really hard time getting into it, so I don't know if I'm going to watch any more. Um, after, I mean, the third episode, I was, like, getting intrigued, because I started sharing a little bit more, and I was trying to find something, you know, kind of not like Stranger Things, but kind of, you know, weird and eerie and stuff. I don't know. But, I don't know. <laughs> Have any of you watched Dark on Netflix, the series? Um, but anyway, so now I'm going to do my normal morning routine, get my coffee, all that kind of stuff. Today, the house is getting treated for termites. We have, we have never seen any termites or anything. It's just, I think I told you guys a few weeks ago we were getting some estimates. Um, and then, you know, having people come out to the house just to make sure that's what it was. We were reasonably sure. Because um, before one of our little lake trips we went on, Brian was getting some, we have like duffel bags at the top of a closet in our bedroom. 
<clears throat> and he was pulling those bags down and then he saw like the these this kind of weird track looking thing on the wall behind the duffel bags and so you know he took a picture and we were googling it and it sounded like or looked like subterranean termites and so anyway long story short yes that's what it is um don't know if they're like active or not we never because we've never seen them anywhere um and there's no damage or anything like that so if they are active they haven't been for very long and if they're not they just were here stayed a little bit and left i don't know but anyway we picked the company that's going to treat, so they're coming out today, they're going to treat, they're going to treat that area. There was nowhere else in the house where they found anything. And then they do like treatments outside. They like dig this little trench and then they like poke holes in the ground, put stuff down there, stuff like that. So they're going to do that today. I mean, I'm not going to be here. Brian will be, but so, you know, the joys of home ownership. <laughs> But anyway, let me get my butt in gear and get out this door and get this day, this work day started and over. It's Thursday after work and I decided instead of going to the gym, I was going to come over and walk over here on the trails. guys so it's Friday I'm working from home I'm also doing my laundry <laughs> that's what I do on Fridays I got on a Dumbo shirt today um, did you even see it like it says I don't even know what it says it just has Dumbo and little flowers and I really liked that I got this quite a while ago at Target, but I hadn't ever worn it till today. I actually forgot I had it when I was going through my closet this morning looking for what I wanted to wear today. I was like, oh yeah, I remember that shirt now. I want to wear that today. So, um, <sighs> but it's like 9.30 in the morning right now, so not too far into the day. And it's kind of cloudy. I think it's supposed to get sunny later but um just trying to yeah Brian just left to go down to his um the company he works for the fence company they have some offices and he goes out there he mostly he works from home but he'll go down there when he needs to turn in contracts and stuff like that so he went to do that and then I have a couple of meetings coming up it's not supposed to be too busy of a day today so that's good and uh, I just got done talking to my mom a little bit if you guys uh, there's an app called Marco Polo and you don't have to pay for it they have a pay version also but I don't I think it I mean there's a few things that it let, gives you like you get to like fast forward or I don't know it doesn't I mean we're fine with the, the free thing but a lot of my family uses it and you can just talk back and forth and I know like if you know from like Apple to Apple on iPhones you can do like FaceTime and stuff but Marco Polo you can do no matter what kind of phone people have and stuff it's just and then it saves your videos like your little conversations and stuff and it's just a really cool app so like if you have family or friends or whatever that you like to talk to like it's it's like a text but because it just notifies you when you get one but you don't have to look at it right then um so like if you're in the middle of something it you you know it doesn't like just pop up like a text or whatever but it acts kind of like a text anyway i'm going to quit rambling about it but just Marco Polo if you're interested in that kind of a thing so but I was gonna ask you guys if those of you who pray if you could please just say like a prayer for my mom to feel better because she's not feeling really great and she fell the other day 
and um, did a little bit of hurt <laughs> to her body and uh, like her kidneys and stuff so and she's just not feeling really good and one time before when my mom was in the hospital and I had asked you guys you know for those of you who pray if you could please say a prayer I feel like it did something I really do I really believe in that so I'm just asking if you are so inclined if you could please just say a prayer for my mama just that she um, starts feeling more herself so but anyway I, I'm gonna grab a banana <laughs> And get ready to go back and log on or not log on but log into a meeting and I'm drinking my second cup of coffee so but yeah there's Friday so far <laughs> So those guys have music really loud. So you're trying to be careful, but down in the water. I was down there too. But so yeah, I can't do too big of a clip thanks to the music. Although I don't really know why it matters when you don't monetize. Other than somebody other than somebody can claim your video, but I don't really know exactly what that means. But so we're anchored. And then see all these other boats that are anchored. Everybody's just enjoying the day. We had sunshine, but now we have heavy clouds, but the water's not bad. It's warming up. They turned their music down, so that's good. Right there's our anchor line. So it's still Saturday. We're done on the lake. The lake actually a ton of people started coming out and then they started having those um, wake boats which a wake boat if you're not familiar creates a huge wake <laughs> behind it like a big amount of waves because people will surf behind those boats, not even without holding on to anything. They can surf behind those boats. They create such waves. And Blue Springs Lake, I don't know what it is about that lake where people seem to just really like those boats out there. And so there were so many of those that was maybe like five or six, but that's enough to really, really make the water it's too wavy, at least if you're on a personal watercraft it just seemed I should have went like the long way around the water just got kind of uncomfortable and then honestly whenever we got to we were sitting that area that I showed you guys we were just kind of sitting and floating on the water and stuff I had to get up out of the water out of my floaty because I was getting uncomfortable with the waves they were it was kind of scaring me. Brian's a really super strong swimmer, and even though I was wearing a life jacket and I had my floaty, I still, I'm not a strong swimmer like he is. I mean, he's lifeguard certified even. He's a very strong swimmer. Both of our kids are too. We put them through lessons and everything, um, but I'm not. And so I got back up on the sea dew because I just was uncomfortable. And then, I end up getting seasick, which I can't, that doesn't really happen to me hardly ever. And so I started feeling really not well. And so we got back, put everything up, got unanchored and just drove around for just a little bit. And just the cool air and stuff, just the air and everything, I was feeling a lot better and I'm feeling just fine now. But we decided to go ahead and come in 
And then on the way home, we were like, let's have barbecue for dinner. Because it feels so summery today. We're even having thunderstorms later tonight. And it's just... So there's a place in the Kansas City area called Jack Stack. They have such good barbecue. I, they have, I love their coleslaw. Nobody's coleslaw, to me, beats my mom's homemade coleslaw, but theirs is a good close second. So, um, yeah. And they also have barbecue baked beans that are so good. They have big chunks of meat in them and stuff. And so he is going out to Jack Stack to get some barbecue. Um, and then I'm going to Dollar Tree because um, we need some, they have these honey wheat pretzels that the whole family really likes. And so we want to get some pretzels. And then there's these little, I'm looking to see if they have these little plastic like bag things. Thrifty Tiffany on YouTube she showed like how she organized her car she like clean and organized her car she puts way more stuff in her car than I do like she's got snacks and all kinds of stuff but I like her idea of putting things in those plastic bags to put in this in the console and so I want to see if my Dollar Tree has those and then also get some buns because Brian loves ribs so he's getting ribs and then I like pulled pork and then we both like turkey so and then this is gonna last us a few days so for the pulled pork and the sliced turkey we need some buns and so hopefully Dollar Tree will have that if they don't I'll run into the grocery store but so yeah it ended up up until the part <laughs> the point where I started feeling really really sick another thing too is we made the mistake of we didn't eat anything all day and so it was like 1 45 in the afternoon and neither one of us had had anything to eat we've been drinking we were drinking our water and stuff and then it just dawned on us we didn't even eat anything today so I think that contributed and uh, and then tomorrow I don't know if it'll depend you know how sometimes you make plans and then you get up and you're like I don't know if I want to do that after all Tomorrow, I had planned, before I even watched that video with Thrifty Tiffany cleaning out her car, I had planned on going and getting my car cleaned Thanks. and vacuuming the inside out and stuff, taking it to the car wash. But then I thought, maybe I'll do a little organizing on top of it, if I can find those little bags, we'll see. So, now I'm at Dollar Tree. And we'll see. Hopefully they'll have what I need. Because <laughs> I really don't want to have to go to the grocery store too. But, we'll see. Okay, they had what I was looking for. So, these are the pretzels I'm talking about. So, I got a couple bags of those. They had buns. I've never heard of this brand before, but they feel nice and soft. It just says family style, I guess is the brand. So, got those. Which actually I could have got buns cheaper at Walmart, but I don't feel like going to Walmart. And then these are the bags I was talking about. They're just cheap little, you know, but they would be good to kind of organize stuff. And I like to have like little packs of like Advil or aspirin and stuff like that. So I got three of them. And my Dollar Tree actually also had these in white, red, and blue. But I got I just got the black. And I got three of them. I don't know if I'll need three though, but we'll see. And then look what they had. I was just looking around. They had these Dr. Scholl's like insoles for flats and I mean a dollar and a quarter seemed like a really good deal for these and because that's the problem with at least for me with flats is they're not the friendliest on your feet 
And then I got some Kleenex. It's a 10 pack, which that's a good deal. I like to have these in my car. And I got, I got these earplugs. I actually got them for this container because I have some like nice earplugs that I really like. I like to take, have like these for vacations and stuff because you never know if you're going to be in an area that's quiet or not. And like that little cottage we stayed in, the air conditioner was really loud and I would have liked to have had some earplugs. But the reason I got these is for the little container and then I'm going to take the earplugs that I really really like and put them in here but I got that mostly for the container what was the more stuff oh I got Brian s'more that Dr. Pepper I showed you guys before that's like in the, I don't know how many this this size and kind of digging around. I got some, good grief, some soap to take on our next trip. I like to have bar soap and I use the, and we just put it in a baggie <laughs> and uh, I used it up. So I'm all out. I do still need to get some body wash before the next time we go, just like, you know, regular bo body wash. I was trying to be really careful not to squish my buns. <laughs> squish the hamburger buns so oh, I'm kind of worn out today so yeah tomorrow we'll see my, my plan is to clean my car but my plan is also to clean my house Brian's going to be working on the outside he's going to be power washing the gutters in the back patio and mowing and so then I think I've told you guys or I did tell you guys a few vlogs ago that I've been neglecting the inside of my house so I need to do some housework so I might clean my car and my house that's my plan then today I was talking to my mom just a little bit on Marco Polo and one of my brothers is going to be doing something for the 4th of July so which I'm really excited about because I want to go down there and see my family most especially my mom because she's been sick and I just want to see her and so that's the other thing we're going to do is we're going to get online and make sure we can get a hotel um, cause there's one that's close, that's a Holiday Inn that we like to stay at. We like to stay at Holiday Inns because we are in their, I can't think of what the rewards plan is. They have a rewards plan and we earn points. So every time we go somewhere where we're staying in a, a hotel, we try to stay in that family. So they've got Holiday Inn and some other, I can't think of the names of them, but different hotels that are in that not just a Holiday Inn, it's like got some other ones too. But there's one that's really close to like my mom and dad. So we like to stay at that one. And we want, so we want to get something booked because, you know, that's over a holiday weekend. Even, we've, we've even had it before where we couldn't get like a room with one king size bed. We've had to get like two queens, big deal. That's like the place that we go to stay, that we're actually going to be going on our next lake trip, um, that water's edge. That place has two queen beds. We don't care. We, <laughs> dude, dude, you not see there was a car there? This guy almost pulled out. I would be so mad if somebody ran into my car because as long as it took to get my car fixed from hitting the deer last October you know as hard as it is to get parts and stuff I don't know if I could control myself <laughs> if somebody hit my car like that was something that was their fault like that guy Brian might have to come bail me out of jail man <laughs> 
but yeah so like when we stay sometimes if we stay somewhere and there's two queen beds or whatever we'll be like let's just sleep in separate beds then we can just spread all out you know because we don't get hung up on you know and we have to sleep in the same bed because we're married and we love each other we love each other no matter what so but yeah so anyway I'm just gonna keep heading home and quit rambly rambly rambling <laughs> know how good you guys can see this it looks it looks brighter on my phone but it's like it's way darker than that with my eyes we're under a tornado watch and a severe thunderstorm watch that doesn't mean there's gonna be anything but I wish you guys could see that better It looks really cool. Hey guys, so it is Sunday. No, we're not going kayaking. I just was coming out here to the little um, seaport thing because it's shady right here because I'm going to wrap the vlog up for the week. Um, probably just gonna clean house today I might go wash my car um, I woke up with a really bad headache this morning so I've taken some medicine and then hopefully it'll wipe the headache out and then I can like do cleaning and stuff but anyway I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap the vlog up for the week so hopefully I'll see you next week